Turn the phone, brother, please. Like this. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Where you come from? I come from the gym to the Hyatt Hotel. Brother, I'm going to sit after three minutes. Maybe you can wait three minutes. <laughs> you can sit it. after three minutes? Yeah, I'm going to sit in the hotel. Wow. You eat this? Wow. You eat this? Yeah. Who makes this? Going to UFC Performance Institute, Charles. Wait. So wait, so wait. Now you don't have, you have nutrition yourself. You have nutrition guy, right? Uh, you see, of course, I'm professional. Hey, you remember this one? You remember this one? You said? 40, 16, 16 ounce gloves look like gloves now. <laughs> hey, you just come back from training. Yeah. Can I eat and talk with you? Yeah, you can eat. Remember last time you tried to take my food? You tried to take my because food? It, because you always eat. I don't always eat. You think I always eat? Yes, when you come to the gym, you eat. After training, some people give you food in the gym. But this is like, this is the time, right? You just finished working out. Now you're going to eat. For you, most important things eat, not training. Because For me? Hungry. For me? <laughs> hey, brother, listen. Let me ask you this question. Hey, how about the other day when you, me, and Alexander Volkanovsky talk, you talk about his, like, he have no wrestling. But this guy have wrestling. He have good wrestling. We have seen him time and time again use wrestling to control fights, not only offensively, Islam, but to stay upright and make people strike with him. Why you don't think he have wrestling? You watch this guy? I didn't see, brother. I watch his maybe five, six fight. I don't see his wrestling. But do you see when he fights wrestlers, he doesn't get taken down? That's still wrestling. Wrestling isn't just scoring takedowns. Wrestling is, okay. can be defense. Who is opponent lost his opponent best person? Who? Well, even like guys like Brian Ortega, right? Brian Ortega can take the fight to the ground, do good job whenever he get the fight to the ground with jujitsu. He was able to stay upright again. Jujitsu, not wrestling. Islam, Islam. you got to be able to defend takedowns. Even jujitsu guys get takedowns. The old jujitsu guys have same problem. They cannot stay in the top. They all go down. This is big, big problem for them. Because they try if to some do this. If some black belt have good wrestling, this is a, like very hard opponent, you know, when someone from like Jiu-Jitsu have good wrestling. But I don't know people like this. Just people from Dagestan. They have good Jiu-Jitsu and good wrestling. So why why do I smash you whenever we grapple? Because I'm not from Dagestan. And also, hey, and also remember, remember, also Islam, remember, when I go to Dagestan, I win my wrestling match, and me and that guy get in fight, I win the fight too. I'm 2-0 and in Dagestan. Please, brother. In Dagestan, they beat you in the wrestling and show you striking. <laughs> Be careful, brother. Be careful. <laughs> so let's that's talk about they That's why you didn't come again to Dagestan. I went to Dagestan before. One time? Yeah, it was a nice place. Come now, nice place. Let's talk about the fight. Let's talk about mm -hmm. Alexander Volkanovsky. Let's talk about what he's trying to do. Are you surprised that in your first title defense, it's a guy from a different weight class? Why do you not believe that it was a 155-pounder that you fought in the first fight? Brother, for me, it's, it's more good just defense, you know. I fight for the something new, some like pound for pound thing for that. But just defense, it's not same. Not same, not same motivation. You, so you don't think you'll be motivated for the guys at 155? I'm going to be motivated, but now I have some new goal, you know, to be pound for pound king. So was this like your you, suggestion? I mean, yeah, yeah, you saw you remember that. You remember we were me? Yeah. You be the third one from AKA Powerful Bomb. This is crazy, huh? Yeah. Velasquez been before. he never made Powerful Bomb one. No, but he was close. But let me ask you this. Was this your suggestion or was that his idea? Because when he came into the octagon, right? When he jumped the octagon, 
You knew that you wanted to fight him? Who called him? Yes. I am called him. People say, hey, you don't want to go to the Brazil fight with Oliveira. I told people, hey, don't worry. For me, it's not a problem go some other country. After how many, who defends his belt after three, four months? When somebody take their belt, they sit minimum six months. But I told them, hey, from this, from Abu Dhabi, we're going to go to Australia. You wanted Volkanovski. Why Volkanovski, though? He's a smaller man. People can say, hey, Islam wants... No, wait, people can say, hey, Islam wants a smaller man. Islam doesn't want to fight the guy in his weight class. Islam calls out the smaller man. People are going to say always something, but people are going to say after this fight, not just champion. Pound for pound, king and champion. Pound for pound, king it's and champion. It's many words. Yeah, it's many words. This means a lot to you, huh? But I'm not going to change like you... When you, I remember when you view pound for pound, you always like, don't feel nobody. That's crazy. You're That's not true. Always. Hey, here's the thing. When I'm pound for pound number one, I always act just the exact same. I treat you nice. I treat everybody nice. I love everybody. Love my brothers. I always try to help my brothers. Always. Please, you, you know this. You change. Hey, Islam, when you were fighting Charles Oliveira and... For a long time, people said Islam is going to be the champion. But when you're fighting Oliveira and you lock in that submission, which he tapped before you even got off to the side, right? You were still kind of in mount whenever you had the arm triangle and you got him to tap. What's the first thought that goes to your mind when you become the champion? Like, what are the emotions that you're feeling? You know, when, I, when he go dead, when I knock him down and I grab his neck, I beginning to uh, do this ambition, like you know, from first second, not not just when I jump to the uh, side, you know. That's why he tapped not early because like ten second, I still pressure him, pressure his neck, and when I like jump to the other side and close my arm, and inside my mind, hey, he gonna tap now, I'm gonna be champion. You know, this is crazy emotion. I don't know, it's. When it's happening again, but that moment is nobody control, you know, crazy. That That's nothing that you don't think. Like, all the wins, all the championships, like, so all the Sambo championships, the world championships and all that, was that, like, the biggest feeling? Yeah, I think. Maybe after this fight, it's going to be the same, but maybe not. I don't think it's going to be more than last fight, but mm. that fight is crazy. It Even never, if it, I watch the video now, I have always some new emotion. You know? Really? It never. Yeah. It, you'll never recreate the first time. The first time is always the best time. I think when you watch the your fight with Miocic, you have the same. Well, it's a big. It's time. a yeah. It's exciting, but but not even like when you win the first title. Like winning the first title is is the one, but, right? Uh, I think yeah, it's the time. So, you just told me right a second ago that. Alexander Volkanovsky is pound for pound number one. That's why you want him. But when you look at the matchup, like where do you see where Alex could present problems? Because Dana White said yesterday, this is trending as one of the biggest pay-per-views of all time. The only time pay-per-views trend like that is when people believe they have a competitive fight. So where does Alexander Volkanovsky or where can he present problems for a guy like Islam Makashev? You know, you see, all the of my opponent, they have some something good. Like they always all professional, and if I let them work, let them space, they gonna do all job, you know. But I have my plan. They all say we're gonna defend his uh, wrestling. We're gonna stand up, something like that. But when fights beginning, when they feel the power pressure, always they just stop. But he's good when he close distance in the when you know when you pressure him, he go like to you like very fast. Like angles. He creates he, a lot of angles. He uh, moves he very angles. well. He move move a lot. He have good kick. Like he not like like hard kick, but he always give you some kick kick mm -hmm. and he put on your mind, you know this. How do you stop him from the first Max Holloway fight, I think back to that because Max is a taller guy too. 
But Alexander Volkanovsky was able to stay at range, land those inside leg kicks, and just keep on piling up points and points and points and points. How do you stop him from creating a fight where it's a bit slower and you are kind of point fighting in there because you are a patient guy on your feet? Like I stop you, you in the gym always. You've Single never, leg, you've leg. never, dude. I don't think you've ever scored a takedown. I put the video, brother. What are you talking about? <laughs> we, I put we, the video on no, Instagram. The vi- <laughs> the, put the vi- Romero put the video of when Romero put the video. He had raised my hand as the winner because you put a a condensed, edited clip, fifteen seconds. The one takedown. I took you down. I gut wrenched you. I had a four point takedown, two gut wrenches. That's eight points. I won eight to four. Romero Cotton was the official. He saw it. Two side judges scored my points. Okay, show me the video. I have the video. I got, well, the, vi- I got the video. If you have the video, but you're gonna, brother, you have brother, to put food. I have the video, but I, I thought the story was what happens in training stays in training. You don't live by the rules, bro. You're not supposed to be posting videos like that. Brother, you lie, brother. How Islam, many people can watch the video, brother? Why you lie? I want to I wanna ask you this right here. I want you to listen to this, right? So Michael Chandler... You said that you were having problems getting motivated. Uh, you know, that's why you're fighting Volkanovsky. Michael Chandler posted today. He said, I'll read this. Let me let me just tell you this, right? I want you to see if you can hear it. Who is guy, Michael Chandler? Yes. I don't care what he say. He has a victory, very linear. He knows exactly what he wants to do. But Volkanovsky is extremely well-rounded. I think Volkanovski is going to be able to thwart the wrestling and grappling attack of Islam just enough to eke out a decision. Michael Chandler said that he believes that Volkanovski will be able to eke out a decision because he'll be able to stop your wrestling and your grappling. Well, I don't care who, what this guy said. This guy have now big money fight. Yes. Let him enjoy but he's but he's a, he's a, he's one of the guys that breaks down the sport, Islam. He's one of the guys that is very smart. Very smart, there. Yeah. He lost <laughs> last three fights. Very smart. Two, <laughs> would two you, fight, McGregor. Very smart. You, <laughs> he's a smart guy. You want to fight McGregor? But if he beat Pare and Chandler, it's fight never happened. Why? Why? Because McGregor, they have same streak. <laughs> Last four fight, they lose three times. Yeah. He's so smart. <laughs> so you, you agree? Think, you think Chandler's losing on purpose? Look how he fight, bro, like crazy. When people watch the fight, they think, hey, this guy never trained. He come like from the street, you know, go crazy and that's it. One round, he finish. <laughs> and McGregor, smart too. He look his fight. And see, this guy is going to tire it short, and I can beat him and choose the small guy. So he chose Chandler. So he chose Chandler. McGregor chose Chandler because he thinks he can win. And because Chan- Chandler has lost so much, McGregor's like, this is the guy I want to fight. 100%. I know. <laughs> he can choose Gage, Oliveira, Darius, or I don't know, someone. The end. They fight one seventy, brother. I think Chandler already one seventy. Like just he's on. He, no, he's like one ninety, right? Who Chandler? I don't know how he's gonna. If he one ninety, he's gonna look like you, brother. One ninety. How do I look good? I look good. Who said this? Look at this face, my wife. My wife said you went to the gym, gym last time one month ago. Brother. You cannot do it. <laughs> no, this well, is at a, this is at AKA, but like I go to my gym, my house. Fitness. <laughs> fitness, only fitness, like Habib. Habib do fitness, the, you know. <laughs> for the Habib eat, you know, for what? <laughs> yeah, Habib training for eat. He just training, lose. <laughs> Two kilo and go. He can, he can eat two kilo. That's the way when retired guys do. You, you know, give, we eat. you give him that program. 
Yeah, you eat, you drink a lot of water, you drink a lot of water, so when you work out, you sweat, then you can eat uh -huh. more food. It's the best. Every day go sauna, sweat more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Islam. Well, you fight this weekend, man. UFC 284, you're in a great spot. You feel confident as always. Uh, what can we expect to see when we see in the octagon this weekend? Finish? You think you're going to finish him? I'm going to, brother. Every second looking for the finish. It's good. When you finish your opponent, then I give you more money in your in my contract. I have some. If you finish, more. Oh, that's so a good I, contract. That's a good contract. What about Habib being gone? What about Habib not being there? You're okay, right? Like, I mean, everybody's making more about it. Every day in the morning, first message. How's your weight? How much your weight? He's not. So he's still there. The guy's like a ghost, right? Like, the guy's like a ghost. Every day he calls. I feel pressure. I think my weight is good, but today he said, hey, you're a little bit big. I say, hey, every, all my uh, cut, cutting weight, like 10 fights, I have the schedules, you know? I put in the in the phone, I check all. Last time, how much I weighed Wednesday. That time, how much I, I my weight on Wednesday. But, you know? but, but, but Habib, Habib, actually, when he was making weight, you make you give him food. How he tell you yeah. how to make weight when well, you don't want to give him food? How he care? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm professional. Look <laughs> professional. how I eat. My man. One, one, I, 1 p.m. lunch. I come you're, the, you're the man, champ. Well, good luck this weekend, my brother. I appreciate you taking some time. Guys, watch Islam Makashev as he tries to defend his UFC lightweight championship this weekend at UFC 284 against Alexander Volkanovsky. He has bonuses for finishes. He also gets money on that pay-per-view. So y'all hit the buy button. Line this man's pockets because for too long he's been broke. He got money now. He got money now. That's why he's been acting different like a brand new Not person. Like you, but, <laughs> but and be ready. After three weeks, I'm come to San Jose. You be come ready. to my house. We drink English breakfast tea. And I give you very much. Yeah. See you, okay. Later, Islam. See you. I'm